Islamic scholar Ahmed Gumi condemns religious leaders for discouraging protests against Tinubu government. Gumi criticized the lack of vocal opposition from influential figures, saying there are no elderly clerics, associations, groups, or persons who speak about the wrongdoings the country is experiencing. The country is just full of abnormalities. Really. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. A controversial Northern Islamic scholar, Ahmed Gumi, has voiced grave concerns about Nigerians' current state, highlighting divine intervention and youth activism as potential cat uh, catalyst for societal change. Gumi criticized the lack of vocal opposition from influential figures, saying there are no elderly uh, clerics, associations, groups, or persons who speak about the wrongdoings the country is experiencing. The, 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 the country is experiencing. The country is just full of abnormalities. He warned of unchecked governmental actions due to this silence. So because of this, the government will do what they wish to do without the masses' consent, and no one will be there to say no, he said. Stressing a lack of accountability and public oversight, Gumi prophesied a form of divine intervention through youth activism. God has sent some group of children to cause cares to some of the government policies, not to destroy anything, but to get the government into their right senses. Suggesting youths lead movements will change existing norms and demand the reforms. Highlighting suppression of dissent, Gumi remarked on re repercussions recently faced by a sitting senator from the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, for voicing out concerns about government policies. No one can talk about bad government in Nigeria, he said. If other warned of potential confrontations between authorities and youthful protesters saying, God now sends some children against them, and they can't arrest the children because the children are many. Gumi also criticized religious leaders for stiffing legitimate protests. Instead of clerics to say, let the children who are ready for protests go about it in an orderly and peaceful manner, they are busy bringing religion into it. That protest is prohibited, he said, urging religious figures to support peaceful activism rather than hinder it. There are moves to protest against the current hardship and President Bola led government policies in August, but some clerics have been discouraging it. Okay, guys. Uh... I've been saying it that we have bigger problem in this country, tribalism and uh, religion. There is nothing long or uh, wrong with protests. You understand? I know people we use because of what Gumi stands for before now to criticize him on this, but he's saying the truth. Uh -huh. So if you know that you are comfortable with what is going on in Nigeria, no problem. Nobody is forcing you if you are okay with it. Nobody is forcing you. But if you know that you are not okay with it, it's okay. This man is saying the truth. Your religion and tribalism is keeping the poor masses down because they have been brainwashed. Yes, these people, they have brainwashed them. You know, with the name of God. God said, God this, God that. And they can only do that to the poor masses. You know, if you tell rich man now, that is the truth. They can only do that to the poor masses. Protest is not a crime. 
You understand? Nobody, nobody is killing anybody. Nobody is destroying anything. If the government do not adjust to protest, it's just a means of convening, you know, the their grievances to the government. This is the only way they can communicate. If one person they talk, this one they talk like this from their house or from their house offices, the government will not take it in, uh, serious. But when they see people come out in mass like they're speaking the same thing, they will understand that they are serious about what they are saying. So why are they even why are they even against protest? Nobody is killing anybody if the government do not adjust it. Because we understand what happened during uh answers. 2022, SS protest. The government ajacked it, and they are the same people who came to tell us that hoodlums ajacked the protest. Nigerians, Nigerian youths, the they, 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 they real genuine protesters were, were protesting. They brought a counter, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, SS protest. So, who are those protesting SS, uh, SAS must stay? Then who are those who are protesting SARS must go? So we just have to tell ourselves the truth. It's there. You understand? Written boldly on the wall. It's the same government who ajacked protests. It's the same them who tell us that hoodlocks have ajacked protests. Then the next thing they will start using guns on people. I believe one thing in life. Everything has expiring dates. And these people who feel that Nigeria belongs to them, they should be getting ready to know that their time has expired. The one when they don't do, it don't reach. You get. Nobody is comfortable with what is happening currently in this country. We should not be complaining. Yes, we should not be complaining. If we have good leaders... We should not be complaining. We have leaders who care less about the citizens. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. You understand? They are, on, they are only concerned about, you know, their selves and their family members. Well, Nigerians, you've all heard what Gumi have said. Gumi have just told Nigerians, don't allow these relig- uh, clerics to deceive you. They can only do that to the poor people. You know, this is brainwashing. Don't protest. You keep on living in anguish. I'm dropping it here, guys. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.